called the day Jorge Negrete died in LA. My aunt was not among the Mexican women who took their lives that December day of 1953 when Negrete died. Only 42, famous film star and pop singer with opera trained voice. His body was flown back to Mexico where every radio played his prophetic song. Mexico lindo y querido, si muero lejos de ti, que digan que estoy dormido y que me traigan a ti. A year later, I rehearsed manhood as the hi-fi boomed his melodies. Swollen with borrowed bravado, I'd strut and sing. Me gusta cantarle al viento porque vuelan mis cantares y digo lo que yo siento por toditos los lugares. Until Dad snickered at my off-key machismo. <laughs> and told me the story of how Negrete, then a gallant cadet, courted my Aunt Emma. I still picture his words as if for forties fill. A resonant voice rises from mariachi to balcony. <clears throat> Negrete follows up a ladder, white roses in hand, declares his love for my aunt, radiant in her red robe. Her grandmother, Mama Meche, sniffs, absolutely not. That boy does nothing but croon and carouse. In tears, my aunt tosses the roses back. I still search for my voice, never having inherited my almost Uncle Jorge's sweet baritone. <laughs>